All right, thank you so much. Three people accused of selling fentanyl-laced drugs connected to overdose deaths are now facing murder charges. Fox Force Paige Ellenberger is outside the Denton County Jail with those details. Paige. Yeah, good morning. So a new state law passed in mid-September is the reason why those three people are behind bars locked up and are facing murder charges. Now, Denton police say they've arrested two people yesterday for selling fentanyl laced drugs to Corey Culver. Officers found the 29-year-old from North Carolina dead in a hotel room along I-35 in Mayhill Road in mid-October. Police found text messages on Culver's phone to Tabitha Balint about her bringing him the drugs. And then during an investigation, she admitted to getting the drugs from Raymond Hernandez, someone she had lived with at the time. Both are now facing murder charges and are in the Denton County Jail. Meanwhile, over in Fort Worth, the grand jury indicted 46-year-old Jacob Lindsay for murdering 26-year-old Brandon Harrison. Police say Lindsay sold Harrison fentanyl-laced drugs outside of the Hewlin Mall. Harrison died in a sober house the very next day. If those murder cases lead up to people paying attention, then we need those because we, this is not a good place, not for our country, not for our families, not for anybody, our military. This is not a good situation. Again, a new state law that went into effect in September allows prosecutors to charge fentanyl dealers with murder. Now, if you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, we do have resources over on our website, fox4news.com. Live in Denton County this morning, I'm Paige Ellenberger for Good Day.